Beekeepers all over the world are raising their voices, looking for natural ways to help honeybees while avoiding the use of toxic chemicals as much as possible. Beekeepers know that the use of synthetic pesticides is not a solution and the world should move in a different direction as fast as possible. In the search for the best way to help honeybees, many honeybee researchers are listening to the beekeepers, the ultimate guardians of the honeybees, and have started to perform very interesting experiments. What do you think honeybee researchers would find when they tested 22 different natural compounds against varroa mites, one of the main problems in beekeeping today? Finding molecules to use against varroa mites is not an easy task for honeybee researchers. These mites reproduce inside the honeybee colony and are in close contact with the bees all the time. Therefore, these molecules have the potential to harm honeybees as well. Synthetic molecules are dangerous. These pesticides are human creations and have not been around humans, plants and animals for too long, making them unpredictable and with higher risks of unintentional damage, both for bees and other life forms. On the other hand, natural compounds are molecules created and selected by Mother Nature and has been around humans, plants, and animals for millions of years, making them relatively safer when applied in a new scenario. In 2009, researchers from Libya and Canada decided to test 22 different natural compounds with the hope that at least one of them would be useful against varroa mites. When you look at this list, which one do you think will be the victorious at the end of this video? The researchers first took vials impregnated with each natural compound and put varroa mites into it to see how many survived the effect of each compound separately. Then something really fantastic happened. All products caused some level of mortality to varroa mites except for one. This is good news because elevate the chances that at least one of these compounds could be a new medicine against varroa mites. Menthol, clove oil, oregano oil, and thymol were the most effective products against mites, causing 87, 96, 100, and 100% mortality respectively. Here is something surprising. Tall fluvalinate, a well-known miticide used by beekeepers, which was supposed to work well against mites, killed much less mites than the natural compounds. Perhaps we should look for natural solutions before jumping to these terrible chemicals spread everywhere we look right now. Just a thought. Based on these results, thymol, oregano oil, clove oil, and menthol were chosen for further investigation. Did any of these natural products make your list? Let me know in the comment section below. To measure the toxicity of these compounds to adult honeybees, Researchers collected worker bees straight from the combs of three Carniolian honeybee colonies, applied the substances on the top of the honeybee thorax, separate them in small wooden cages, and let them rest in the incubators for several hours. By the way, if you want to know more details about these experiments, please consider joining our academy. And the results are in. Thymol and clove oil were found to be less toxic to bees when compared to oregano oil and menthol, making thymol and clove oil good candidates to become natural solutions against varroa mites, right? Wrong. The problem is that any substance can be non-toxic in one life stage, but very toxic in another. And that's why researchers also need to test the same four natural compounds in another life stage of the honeybees to have a better understanding of the real toxicity of the compounds. When tested in honeybee larvae, thymol had the lowest toxicity, followed by oregano oil, clove oil, and in last, menthol, making thymol the champion of natural treatments against varroa mites in this study, until the researchers tested different delivered methods, which will be seen in my next video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week.